If you think about it, physics is really an everyday part of our lives. Accelerating in a car or an airplane, exiting an interstate too fast, and feeling like you're going to fly off the exit ramp, or slipping on ice or wet steps and crashing to the ground. These are just some of the ways we experience physics. Could a domino small enough holding your hand cause a chain reaction that could topple something as big as a 112 meter tall tower? Physics can give you the answer. Okay, here are some of the physics concepts we're going to talk about in this course. We're going to talk about motion, velocity, acceleration. You just think about driving or flying, maybe even riding a bike. Then we're going to cover gravity and g-forces. Now that's like riding a roller coaster or some other amusement park ride. Then momentum and energy. Now have you guys ever seen an 18-wheeler going down the road 80 miles an hour with a big load of steel pipes behind the cab? What do you think is going to happen to those steel pipes if we have an accident? It's just physics. Many years ago, I was enlisted in the Air Force. I was married, I had two kids. And I finally realized I needed an advanced degree in order to advance my career. So, I went to night school for four years. And I'm taking all these English, math, and science courses, and I'm wondering, how come I gotta take all these courses? Well, then I graduated. My bosses expected me to write well, to solve problems, and put together a plan to implement the solution. Wow, when did they ever teach that in those courses? You're going to learn a problem-solving process that's so simple yet so powerful that you'll use it in your courses and even in your career. Now, the exams will be far less stressful in this course if you use that process. Now, don't tell me that's not a good thing. In 2016, Forbes reported on a survey that was done, and they surveyed almost 64,000 managers. What did they find out? 60%, 60% of those managers thought students were lacking critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Now, what do you think employers want as skills in their employees? 90% in a survey by the Association of Colleges and Universities said problem solving. That's what we're going to cover in this course. Bottom line, the key skills from this course are preparing you to be academically and professionally successful with skills employers want. Working on teams, solving problems, providing the results in both written and oral presentations. These are the stepping stones to success. I'm Dr. Tom Seeland. Welcome to Physics 102.